Welcome everyone to Azure Data Engineer Interview Preparation Series by GrowthX Academy. From our previous answer, there is a high chance that a follow-up questions could be on, like you have mentioned about incremental data loading, right? How did you implement it? There is a high chance this could be the next follow-up question. Let's start answering it. And if you haven't watched our previous interview questions, please do go through it. I have mentioned the playlist in the description of this video. Now let's start answering the question about incremental data loading. To be specific, incremental data loading is something I've implemented extensively in my projects. And one example that I can mention was for a retail client. The task was to centralize their sales and inventory data, which was spread across multiple on-premises SQL servers into a data lake and eventually loaded into a data warehouse for analytics. When we started, the historical data itself was massive, around 500 GB of sales and inventory records. For the initial load, we did a full data transfer using Azure Data Factory's copy data activity, and this involved moving the entire data set to Azure Data Lake Storage and then into Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Now the challenge was keeping this data up to date without reloading everything daily. We decided to use a column in the source tables called Last Modified Date, which stores the timestamp of the last update for each record. This column became our watermark for identifying changes. So to implement this, we first created a control table in the destination database. This table stored the highest last modified date value from the previous load, which acted as our reference point. And then in Azure Data Factory, we designed a pipeline to make this process seamless. I have designed pipeline with a lookup activity to fetch the last loaded timestamp from the control table. Then next, we used a copy data activity with a dynamic SQL query. This query pulled only the records where last modified date was greater than the last loaded value. After the data was successfully loaded, we ran a stored procedure to update the control table with the new maximum last modified date. Now, once the pipeline ran and tested successfully, as per client requirement, we scheduled this pipeline to run every 24 hours and it capturing all the new and updated records daily. It brought down our data loading time from hours to minutes, and the resource usage, both compute and storage, was significantly optimized. And one more thing, we have also added monitoring and error handling. ADF's built-in monitoring tools helped us track pipeline runs, and we set up alerts to notify the team in case of failures, and also implemented retry logic in place, like to ensure the pipeline could recover from temporary issues without manual intervention, and yeah, this is how I implemented incremental loading with ADF.